The biggest question that leaders have for us anytime we talk about our experience or our, or our products is how do you measure it? How do you measure culture? The people that always ask us this question say we've never been able to tangibly understand how culture is experienced inside of our company. Culture is nothing but the culmination of the behaviors and the behavioral experiences we have with one another. So we figured if we can measure how culture is experienced between the members of the organization, then we could solve the problem of measuring culture. Culture Counter is the first culture measurement tool in the entire world. And we're really proud about that because oftentimes we we think that a lot of clients see it as engagement surveys. And for us, we take it a step further. Engagement surveys will tell you that your team is engaged or not. But Culture Counter actually will show you not only where your team is engaged, but how they're engaged. What behaviors are your team experiencing in ways that you can actually action the data afterward? So Culture Counter equips leaders with actual data that lets you know where your culture is sitting right now, what the people in your team or organization are experiencing from everyone else. So Culture Counter gives you tremendous amount of intelligence, analytics, and insights about the behavioral experiences across your firmographic data and demographic data that no other tool out there can do. And that's powerful. So as a leader, you're actually able to see how, the, how you see yourself versus how the people you lead are actually seeing you. When you have this, when you're equipped with this knowledge, you can actually start some really transformational change. And not only are we measuring where the culture is inside of the organization on a spectrum, which is an NPS scoring model that we employ in our system, but we are also able to measure effectively where culture is not being experienced the way it should intend it to be, or where there are gaps in certain type of behavioral experiences, firmographically and demographically, we can actually tweak your solutions, tweak your strategies to be very pertinent and intentional on improving certain type of cultural experiences inside of your walls. So I think part of the, the frustration of a culture journey is this not knowing like what's working, what's not. And there's a lot of power in being able to measure consistently the pieces and the stats that are going up and down in your culture. And as you line them up against the efforts you're making and the outcomes of your business, you can make smarter and better decisions going forward. And so now for the first time, we can, we can say that if you are empowering people well, it will have a positive outcome on your ability to not only retain people, but also improve your ability to earn or reduce costs.